once a year, like the leaves, it comes. A magical night when bedtimes disappear and identities change. Trick or treat! When the ghouls and goblins of our souls are set free to roam the night and scarf candy. For the true believers, Halloween is the ultimate holiday. For me, it's the ultimate dork holiday. Halloween is for Halloweenies. Ah! Gotcha! You blinked. Wrong. Pete thinks I'm the weenie for not believing anymore. What happened to my Halloween spirit? Where did it go? And once it's gone, can it ever return? Pete and I were about to find out. And the answers would either save Halloween or destroy it forever. What is it about Halloween that gets kids all wiggly? For some, it's eating enough candy corn to launch a lunar probe. But for my brother Pete, it's something much simpler. Immortality. Or, as it's known in Wellsville, the record. You see, 31 Halloweens ago, Greg and Judy Stilp trick-or-treated to 374 houses in one night. By midnight, they were legends. Gods. Like Apollo and Athena. Who? Apollo and Athena. They were brother and sister. Only Athena didn't have a mother, so she just sprang out of her father's head, ready to fight. I saw the picture. The record has never been broken. Me and Pete always tried. But then he quit. Athena never quit. I won't either. The thing you have to realize is that to Pete, Suction. Halloween isn't a holiday. It's a holy day. And a gutted gourd is a token of thanks to the Halloween gods. You are the chosen one. But even the truest of the true believers need a little help now and then. And that's where crossing guard Frank Gulcher comes into the story. Good day, citizens. Hey, Frank. Nice wheels. Born to be wild, huh? No. That's my surveillance assault vehicle. You need that thing to guard the crosswalk? Oh, no, no. I'm on special assignment, Chief. Halloween duty. I've been called to serve and protect Sector 17. Now, listen up, you two. Tomorrow night, be sure to buddy up, because they're out there. Oh, they're out there, all right. Pete knew exactly who they were. The Pumpkin Eaters. A pack of goons who turn Halloween into Halloween. No one knows their true identities. But every year, they rip through Wellsville like a twister, pulverizing the Halloween spirit of everyone who still believes. They are the dark nights of Halloween. Good buckets. You got that right, Chief. <clears throat> the thing is, uh, that if we don't stop the pumpkin eaters, this is uh, <clears throat> our last Halloween. What? Sorry, Chief. I know how much it means to you, but I, I don't make the rules. The word just came down. Oh, remember, Chief, today's Devil's Night. 24 hours to the big show. 
be careful out there. Last Halloween. Wow. How's Pete taking it? Like someone punched his soul. Between you and me, I hope this is the last Halloween. I'm sick of it. Whoa. Check it out. It's like a pumpkin graveyard. Looks like this one got away. It used to bug me whenever I saw a smashed pumpkin. It just seemed so senseless. But that day, I finally understood. Maybe because I hated Halloween. Smash it. Do it. No one's looking. smell like tangerines? <laughs> oh, yeah. I licked mine once. Don't go ruining your appetite, boys. Because tonight, we're going to have us a little weenie roast. someone do this? I don't understand. I know it sounds crazy, but I couldn't help feeling like I was to blame for what happened. As if the Halloween gods had cursed Pete for the pumpkin I destroyed. And it didn't help that the next day... I'm sorry, Gumdrop, but I'd have to be an idiot to let you go trick-or-treating. Nona's pop pulled the plug on her Halloween plans. Love hurts. Pete, Mom told me about Nona. What are you gonna do? Nothing. Can't break the record alone. Takes two people to haul the candy, remember? One more shot. It's all I wanted. Maybe it was loyalty. Maybe it was stupidity. But to this day, I still can't believe what I did next. Pete, I'll go with you. You you and me, together, remember? Don't yank my chain. I'm not. I'll go. You will? You what? Pete, you can't go trick-or-treating. It's no big deal. I know what this is about. So you smashed a pumpkin. Is that worth ruining your life? I think you're being a little dramatic. Dramatic? I'll give you dramatic. I got two words for you. Ellen, don't. Ned Richmond. Remember last year? How could I forget? Last Halloween, this 15-year-old feeb named Ned Richmond went trick-or-treating. And the pumpkin eaters caught him. He got roasted for everyone to see. Ned's life has never been the same. Now nobody will go near him. Not even in the yearbook. But I can run really fast. Pete, please, don't do it. Once a Halloweeny, always a Halloweeny. You'll be scarred for life. I gotta go get ready. According to my brother, the record is one of mankind's greatest feats, like landing on the moon. And if we broke the record, we'd be legends, just like Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. 
the first two men to walk on the moon. For me, I was just relieved that the visor covered my face. Pete was relieved too, because he could actually relieve himself in his spacesuit. Ah, uh, science. Ready, Commander Armstrong? Ready, uh, Buzz. So off we went into the unknown. Visions of Halloween glory surging through Pete's brain. Fear of being unmasked racing through my own. So it all came down to this one fateful Halloween. By midnight, all the questions would be answered. Would this be the last Halloween? <laughs> would Pete finally break the record? And would my Halloween-y secret remain a secret? Commander, prepare for lift off. Ready, set, go! But as I soon discovered, I wouldn't have much time for worrying, because Pete devised a battle plan that rocketed us through suburbia. Trick or treat! Trick or treat! You know the routine, hustle! By eight o'clock, just one hour into our 374 house quest, we knocked off 115 houses, from Chug Hill all the way to Sahara Mike Avenue. We were unstoppable, and as my Halloween spirit returned, I could feel it. It was a night for heroes. And unfortunately, villains. Because Pete and I weren't the only ones trying to change the face of Halloween. situation here. We got a 10-9er and a 3. Send back up, Bronco. Oh, the humanity. You cannot do this to me. I'm a civil servant. There's a war zone out there. Go home. I can't protect you! Freeze! Or your fertilizer! With the pumpkin eater's reign of terror in full force, I convinced Pete that we had to take evasive action. I knew that if the pumpkin eaters caught me, hello, Weenie Town. So armed with Pete's knowledge of every shortcut in Wellsville, we began serpentining suburbia. But somewhere around house 203, the pumpkin eaters tightened their stranglehold on Halloween. And suddenly, it looked like our night of glory would be squashed by fear. But the spirit of Halloween could not be crushed. Wellsville refused to surrender. T minus 131 houses and counting. How you doing, Buzz? Over. Hey, okay, Commander. Over. Energy supplement? Over. Let's move out. As we closed in on the record, I guess I got a little overconfident. But with only six blocks to go, I figured, what could go wrong? Ah! Hooray, men from space! Ned Richmond. Hey, you're Pete Wrigley. No, I'm not. I'm, uh, Neil Armstrong. Oh, yeah, sure. Your secret's safe with me. Hey, maybe we could go together next year. Huh, Wriggles? Wriggles. He called me Wriggles. Oh. Shake it up, Commander. Come on. Pete, this is crazy. If they find me, I'll end up like Ned. Hey, maybe we could find someone else for you to team up with. What? We're the only Halloweenies left. We, we've got to get out of here. No! No! Come on! You promised! We're almost there! Come on, we can make it, Commander! No, we can't. 
not alone, not out there. It's over. That's what you think. I don't need you. Yeah, well, don't say I didn't warn you. I knew that I was being a spineless weasel. I knew that I was sucker punching Pete's dreams of glory. But I had to get home and lose the spacesuit. I just couldn't end up like Ned. Going my way, Halloweeny! It was the last place a Halloween hater like me should have ended up, but it was the only place left to hide. this holiday. Yeah, well, it hates you, too. Leave me alone. You hear me? You're the reason I'm in this whole mess. Sue yourself. It's nice knowing you, traitor. At that moment, I didn't care what happened to Halloween. All I cared about was me. Tang, you're dead. Ah! Oh, Wrigley! Trigger treat! Well, well, well. It isn't the biggest Halloweeny of them all. The last house. Final frontier. I'm one house away, jerkweed. I told you I didn't need you. What do you want from me? Nothing. Except your soul. <laughs> Come on. Ah, I'll tag him upside down from the goalpost. Hey, yeah. What's going on? No time to the roof hey. rack and drive around town. No, no. I've got something special planned for this one. What are you going to do to me? Well, that depends on what you do for me. Bite my scalp! Why? Why now? Yesterday, 
We saw you, Ridley. You smashed a pumpkin. Oh, it was beautiful. And now, now here you are in this pathetic excuse of a haunted house, hating Halloween even more. Just like you. Exactly. Ridley, we can destroy Halloween together, smash the pumpkin, and together we'll toast the death of Halloween! <laughs> and if I don't? Two words. Ned Richmond. Do it. You know you want to. You felt it yesterday, and you feel it now. I could feel it. At that moment, I had more power in my hands than I've ever had in my life. The power to crush the spirit of Halloween forever. But would I? Could I? Do it. No one's looking. Sorry to hear that. Endless Mike? What'd you expect, Carrothead? Mr. Tasty? Fry this week! Like I said, dirtbags, not on my watch. Where are you going? Coward! I'll destroy you too! Oh, I will! Trick or treat, gut bucket! Space, no one can hear you scream. No more Commander, our work here is done. In the end, Pete was right. It was a night for heroes. The next day, with the pumpkin eaters unmasked and in custody, the cleanup began. You missed a spot. Stooge. It was the last time their kind ever haunted our town. As for Pete, he didn't break the record, but that was okay. Maybe next year. Because he achieved greatness in another way that night. So did I. We helped save Halloween in Wellsville. Now, every year, when the leaves come, so does Halloween. Setting free the ghouls and goblins of our souls for one magical night. Especially for two brothers who will always believe. That plane is so too far. It's a town in the shadow. Yeah.